Good morning, ladies and gents. Uh, sorry for looking a little bit poor. Sorry for looking like a non-true believer. Uh, but it seems like we win. It seems like we won. Or have we? Uh, there's a new post from BSG, from Kita himself, an hour ago. And I'm gonna go through the post and I will share my thoughts and uh, concerns. So, first of all, he's saying greetings. Let me continue my feedback on the current situation. First of all, I would like to say that I'm very sorry that fans and the community in general are experiencing these feelings. Unfortunately, I somehow didn't foresee the fact of such a reaction and now I have drawn conclusions for my future decisions. Um, I don't know why, but for me personally, it feels like there are some people and there are some companies for whom it's really difficult to say, sorry, I messed up. Um, I made a bad decision, I made a mistake, sorry. And they will try to m say it in a more corporate way, if you know what I'm saying. So a lot of people will uh, not accept this apology, a lot of people will accept this apology, as like realizing this is an apology, but I, I do believe this is an apology in their own words, even if they could phrase it better. Um, whether it's sincere or not sincere is up to you to decide. I'm just saying uh, what I think. This looks like a corporal way of apologizing. And um, I guess I guess I guess I take it. I guess I see it. Now I will briefly summarize the main points about PVE access. We decided to just open it for EOD owners for free, but we will do it in waves. As I said before, we don't have server capacity right now. We will start this process as soon as possible. All right, so this is what I was saying in my first YouTube video, that it would be fair if EOD owners got the PVE access, no matter if BSG called it a DLC or a unique uh, new in-game uh, feature mechanic for XXL, uh, Petabit, Giga Chat Edition, whatever, EOD is supposed to get it for free. And EOD do get it for free, they do get it forever, and they do get it a sub. I don't think there is anything better that can possibly happen with uh, PV access being given to EOD. Like this is it. like BG cannot do anything better than this regarding giving it to EOD users. Um, the only question is, can people purchase it separately on the website? Because uh, right now I didn't see such an option. I think BG said that EOD users will be able to purchase this option with a 70% discount, and now today the day they changed it, so probably usual editions will be able to purchase this um, edition sometime in the future. I don't know. We will see, I guess. So that's definitely a good thing. It cannot become any better than this. Second, we also decided that we will add mod support for PvE mode after the release of the game. I think this is amazing. Uh, to be fair, this second line, I think a lot of people... Um, underestimated this may be the future of the game whenever the game is released and all of us escape tarkov all of us finish storyline quests what are we gonna do uh maybe we'll just play pve uh pve mode uh with progress with our friends with uh different mods maybe people will get separate servers we'll see but this this looks uh, very promising and i really hope that bsg um put a lot of uh, effort working with the mod community, working with um, SPT Tarkov devs on how they can implement this, on how all of this is going to work. I truly believe that this can be the future of the game. Once again, we will see. About the Unheard Edition. We will not remove it. We want to keep the option for those who want to support the game more, but we will balance items, perks in this edition, as well as we will provide more rewards for those who upgraded it with the old price. All right, so this is a bit messed up. It looks like BSG cannot or do not want to refund it, which would have been the best um, option to do. And uh, that's a bit sad. I wish I wish uh, all the people who bought it would be refunded and they like they would just go back straight to uh, EOD or whatever edition um, they had, because it feels very weird. Like. Um, you can blame them or for paying $120 to upgrade uh, or you can accept that fact. But either way, I feel bad for people like they paid for something um, and then the next day there is a 50% discount for this uh, upgrade. 
and as a money bag, as a cash bag, they get a left behind edition key, which I don't know what people are supposed to do with it. Some people say give it to a friend, some people say it, make it a hardcore account, man, play Tarkov on a hardcore account on your second account. Uh, some people will probably sell those keys on a third party website um, to others. So yeah, I don't really see a perfect solution to this situation and we have what we have, I guess. Four, new EOD perks will be, be, will be balanced too. We will remove prioritize matching option to keep everyone in the same spot. Um, all right, I guess this is fair. I think, however, we can keep priority queue. Uh, priority queue right now works in arena. I know uh, not all of you have tried arena, not all of you play arena, but this priority, um, this prioritize matchmaking already exists in arena, and this is how it works. So if you matchmake in arena for let's say two, three, or five minutes, right, and then you find the game. And on the screen where people accept the game, one of your enemies doesn't accept it and you get back into the matchmaking. If this happens once or twice, you get set into priority queue, um, which somehow expands your search and uh, you, find the games, you find the games faster. So this priority matchmaking only leads to, the, uh, to you finding faster games. It doesn't mean that you will play with different players. It doesn't mean that you will play only with EOD players or with players with a high amount of hours in the game. It literally means you will find the games faster. So it is already in Arena and it does work. So I would say it would be cool if they gave prioritized matchmaking to people um, whose previous raids took a lot of time to find. So let's say if you play on EU, sometimes your matchmaking can take two minutes and sometimes it can take uh, five or six or seven. So if you played a raid, and it took you seven minutes to find the game uh, the previous time, and you go and you play another raid. You get matchmaking. Um, you get prioritized matchmaking, so you can balance the raids out. All right. So let's say you find one game in six minutes, and you find the next game in one minute. So on average, it takes four and a half minutes to find a game. I think that would be sick, and this option should be provided to all players, obviously. All right. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. We will add more unique stuff to highlight the EOD version in general. All right, maybe some armbands, maybe some cosmetics. We will see. We will provide the final list of the new EOD perks a sub. Okay. We will continue to work on patches, new content, events, and the game release itself, no matter what. Thank you for your time, love and hate, and thank you for your increased attention to the current situation. Nikita. So I think this more or less concludes the whole story. I do believe a majority of people will be um, happy after reading this response, even though it's going to have a um, bitter aftertaste. Uh, probably because a lot of trust has been lost. The trust has been absolutely broken within the past three days. Because uh, this this, this is what BSG should have posted uh, <laughs> like the first day instead of um, doing it in three days. But I still have to give props to BSG for... Uh, making the right decision and uh, seeing the power of the words of community and the second thing uh, Nikita talking about true believers in um, his interview definitely played a bad joke on him saying that like all the people that supported the game in the past and bought EOD are not true believers true believers like only the guys that are buying the new edition um, yeah, the, man, that's that's messed up. Um, but yeah, I personally believe um, we are not going to see any big changes on BG side afterwards anymore. And yeah, don't forget, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, I mean, once again, I my, my main point was that this edition is unfair. EOD users should have had what they were promised. And I never upgraded to the new edition. I know some people did, some people uh, didn't. I don't play. I don't blame people that upgraded to the new edition, but I personally believed it's not right. Um, so yeah, I am an EOD non-true believer, just like many of you. Uh, and yeah, to be fair, I think this is the end. Things are gonna come down after this post, and we will keep on living. But as I said on my Twitter, uh, my true believers forgive. But don't forget, have a wonderful rest of your day.